Tampa Bay. My name, of course, is DJ Dan. I'm here with Bobby Labby, who is uh, one of the managers here at the Sea Dog Brewing Company in Clearwater. He's going to take us through and show us the brand new brewery, which we just uh, opened up but, uh, April 10th. April 10th. So come on, let's go take a look. Wow. Well, here we go. All right, so we see some brickwork here. The whole brewing process starts with this red unit here. That's the mill, so all of the, all of the grain and barley go into that, and it's heated by water with, uh, with this item right here. This is our HLB, the hot liquor back. So this, this acts similar to a, uh, to a Bunsen burner like you'd see in your high school science class, and that heats up to 500 gallons of water up to, uh, up to about 168 to 170 degrees. From there, it kind of sprinkles over and wets the, uh, wets the grain that was just ground at the mill. That wets it down here in what's called the mash tun. So that simplifies the grain and allows it to, uh, for the sugars to be converted to alcohol later in the process. Behind you here is what's called the kettle. Once again, this acts as a, uh, similar to a Bunsen burner, once again. The, uh, the bricks are both for aesthetics and also act as a great insulator to help maintain the temperature. And the, uh, the kettle is where the, uh, where the hops are at. So from there, we head into the colder room, a little more comfortable in here. We are in Florida after all. Come on, this looks good. Come on down. Smells good. So from there, we see these units here. It comes to these units at about 168 degrees. That's way too warm to ferment. So what these are called, these are heat exchangers. These take the hot wort to, uh, from 168, 170 to about 70, 72 degrees. These four stainless steel units here on your left are called open top fermenters. We use open top fermenters because we brew ales, not lagers. The difference between ales and lagers, ales are top fermenting yeast, so they have the yeast the yeast is on the top, and it's about a seven to eight day brewing process depending on how aggressive the yeast is. Lagers are bottom fermenting, and that's about a 30 day brewing process. So here we have a couple different ones. We may even be able to take a look in if you've got some active brews, which I believe we do. Yes, we have a, a Brewer's Brown Ale brewing right here, so you can see some of the active yeast. It may not be the prettiest thing, but it'll be, it'll be tasty down the road, give it about five or more days. From there, it gets moved to one of these. These two on the left are 20 barrel CTs. The two on the right are 40 barrel CTs. So for one day, they'll, they'll sit and, uh, and allow, allow some of the sediment to, to go down to the bottom. It helps the filtration process down the road. And then after that, it gets moved to another CT for carbonation. There's one more big toy you guys should see, which kind of makes, it's kind of a secret to the whole operation. Of course, the first ingredient in beer is water, and you need high quality water to make a high quality beer. We're at Shipyard and Sea Dog Brewing Company. We're based out of Maine, so we use Maine water. Here we are in Florida. The water quality is a lot different. There's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more additives and different additives. So what this unit is here, this is an RO, which stands for reverse osmosis. So what this does, it neutralizes the water, and then we can add, we can add uh, chemical additives to make it replicate any water that we need. So, for example, if we wanted to brew a German beer, we could replicate German water. We brew beer from Maine, so we replicate water from Portland, Maine. And then this tank here on the left is about 500 gallons. This unit can do about 30 gallons a minute, so it's a pretty powerful unit. Like I said, it, uh, it neutralizes, uh, neutralizes the water down to, a, to an even 7 pH, and a uh, neutral thing, so we can brew your beer to enjoy. Well, we have 14 active draft lines here, which feature up to 20 different ales at any given time. And we also have others which are called uh, Pugsley Signature Series, which are normally sold in the 22 ounce bottles. Uh, each location has a couple beers that are exclusive to this location. For example, here, this is the only place in the world at this point that you can get our uh, Trick or Treater, which is a peanut butter brown. We also have a Florida Pale Ale, which is light body with a little bit of orange zest, which is a fantastic beer. We have a Pina Colada Blonde that we also hope to, uh, that gets quite a bit bigger. So, but at the moment, this is the only place in the world you can get it. So come on down to Sea Dog and Clearwater and there's plenty of unique offerings for you. Thanks, Bobby, I appreciate that. Once again, right here at Sea Dog Brewing Company. Uh, come on down, have a good time. Food is excellent. Uh,
got a great chef, uh, great staff, great service, a lot of construction. If you've been here before, you notice that the brewery as well as uh, most of the outside patio has all been redone. Uh, the inside's been redone. They've got a nice stage in there, which is where you can come see me every Thursday of the month, except for the last Thursday, the first every other Thursday, except the last one. Because what about the last one? They bring uh, a big man in on day. But all the other days, you can catch me right here at Sea Dog doing that one man show for you. So come on down for happy hour. Happy hour specials all the time. Uh, they got a Portuguese clam chowder that's an, an actual award winning Portuguese clam chowder, which is amazing. You got to try it. So hey, come down, check it out right here in Clearwater, Florida. We've got the Sea Dog Brewing Company. Like I said, I'm here every week playing. Come down and see me. If not, come down and just enjoy some great brew, great food, and a great spot right here in Clearwater near Countryside Mall. So we're easy to find right off of US 19. All right, for FYI Tampa Bay, as usual, DJ Dan.